Hey there, Miguel Martinez Juarez here. Uh, so today I'm gonna talk about how to work with the subcon subconscious mind to manifest anything you want in life, okay? Uh, first is knowing what the subconscious mind does and where it is, okay? Number one, subconscious mind is the creative mind, okay? So is the universal mind, okay, God. Okay, you, God works uh, subjectively as well, okay? Um, meaning whatever you put in, the spirit realm comes out, okay? And we're linked to that, we're linked to spirit, we're linked to God with our own individual subjective mind. We have an individual subjective mind. God is just in everything, okay? God is a, a universal mind, a universal life. And guess what, we're life. And, God's in us, okay, uh, and we are in God, okay. So you must understand that, okay, <clears throat> that what it is and what it does, okay. Now, the sub subjective mind is our individual mind, and what it does is it creates, okay. Now, for us. To create, we must form an image, okay, of the thing we want, okay, or the quality we want, right, or the person that we want. Full, hold an image of that, okay, and know that it's created in the subjective mind or in the spirit realm, meaning there is no time space there, okay, there is no limitations to that idea that you want, okay, and as long as you hold it there with that same consciousness of, you know, of having that thing that relationship or that person, um, it will come in the physical, okay? Now, the thing is, the difference between here and the subjective mind is that in the subjective realm or in the spirit realm, there are no limits, okay? You cannot say, oh, well, only if I have this and only if I have that, no. This thing's too hard, this thing's too easy. You know, it's like, it's just yours the moment you create it, okay? Things are easy and hard in the physical in the relative okay in the non-essential when the sub and when you're in the subconscious mind you're in the essential okay the ideal okay there's no limits there's no time and space it's only you and that image why am i going like this but <laughs> uh you and that you know whatever you want you know so if you want and here's the key you must hold on to that consciousness and do not let doubts come in Okay, now, what you do, here's the how, okay? Uh, you meditate in the morning and at night, okay? Meaning just calm down, you relax. Close your eyes and start visualizing the thing that you want and take on that consciousness of having that already. Start thinking, feeling, and acting like that person even though, you know, the physical hasn't really mani hasn't manifested yet. Start thinking, feeling, and acting that way. Think, feel, and act. Think, feel, and act. Think, feel, and act, okay? Because there's a certain feeling you get when you want something. There's a certain feeling that you want, okay? So you, now you now create that, okay? You, so you think, now you feel, and you will have, okay? As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he, okay? Or as a woman thinks in her heart, so is she, you know, or what have you, however you want to identify. The mind is the same, okay? Doesn't matter what, uh, God doesn't care what color, religion, shape, form, sexual orientation you are, okay? Whatever you put in your mind, you'll get, okay? And God is good all the time, okay? So if you're working towards something with a good intention, God's gonna give it to you and God's gonna be on your side, okay? And you're just gonna have more good in your life. Now, here's a tip that Trower talks about. He says, look, Command your subconscious mind. I'll quote, I'll copy and paste the quote down, down in, the, in the description. Okay, tell your subconscious mind what you want. Subconscious mind, I want this X, Y, Z, or this, right, this thing, and I'm trusting you that you, I know I'm telling you to take over my conscious mind and bring over the, uh, the material, materialization, okay, of what I want, okay. That's just one way, but it works, diff it works different for everybody, okay? Um, Genevieve Biran, who was one of, her, one of his students, the only student, um, she just visualized 
doing the thing, okay? Doing the thing and living in that consciousness, knowing that it's hers, right? That it is her right. If she wants it, it's hers. And that's it, okay? And she would visualize that. For example, she uh, manifests the $20,000, she'll count $20,000 bills. In her mind, she'll count $20,000 bills every night, knowing that the spirit is coming in through her, right? So that she can learn more life, learn more about life. This is gaining, this is gaining, so she's getting more, okay? She's not receding, she's, she's not going back, she's not hiding, she's growing, she's evolving. So she knows she was using that, that principle of, of the universe and knowing that what she's thinking is gonna manifest. So she did that in a calm manner, okay, in a calm manner. And eventually, certain things came to her mind. Oh, I should do this, I should do that, I should do that. And she took action on it, inspired action. And before she knew it, she had $20,000 in her bank account, and she went to study with Showward, okay? And she saw herself in, um, in London, or, or somewhere in, in England, right? Studying with him. Okay, she saw herself already. So in her mind, she was already doing it, okay? She said, if, if it's something I want, it is mine, okay? Despite her receiving letters from Troward saying, you're not going to be my, my student, I just can't do it. And she said, if it's in my mind, if it's a desire in me, it must be true. So she was persistent, calmly persistent, until she became a student of Thomas Troward. And um, we have one of her greatest books, okay, um, which is Your Invisible Power. Okay, uh, by Genevieve B. Wren. All right, so I hope you like this one. That's how you get in touch with your subconscious mind, okay? You get in touch with your subconscious mind, okay, by knowing that you're working in the non-essential. Let me get this cat down, all right? No, excuse me, in the, in the essential, in the ideal, okay? The physical is the non-essential, it's the relative, okay, because you can relate things, okay? Um, but yeah, know that your thoughts and ideas don't have, are, are not limited to time and space. As soon as you see it in your mind, it's yours. Now focus on it. Don't let contrary, con, don't let a contrary consciousness come in. <clears throat> see yourself with that person, you know, say an affirmation as well. I am in a loving relationship, you know, or that partner. I'm with a successful partner in my business or see yourself with that money. Okay, I'm so being grateful that I have X amount of money. I see it in my, in my bank account. I see myself buying certain things that I can only buy with that amount of money. Um, I'm so happy and grateful now that, you know, I am physically in shape. I, I see myself in the mirror. I'm touching my body, you know. And then release it and know that everything's coming into form because everything is good. All is good. And you're in that consciousness. Okay, and then knowing these laws gonna come okay and take that inspired action and thank you so much hope you like this one if you want more resources check the description below okay till next time thank you